Hey, what's up everybody? Frank Slauson here. And, well, we're just going to do a little short little vlog here. And talking about uh, a couple things. Uh, first of all, uh, well, it's just a beautiful day here at the Fever, as you can tell. I'm on my lunch break right now and just do a little filming. And had to drive to a different location so I could do actually do my vlog. Because it's like, you know, I don't like how, like, Shay Carl, you know, he... He'll vlog in public and it won't really bother him if people look at him or stare at him or whatever if he's doing that. But me, you know, I'm not, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I'm not really afraid of public either, but I, I, I don't know. I just, uh, not totally afraid of public. I just don't like it when too many people are watching what you're doing, I guess. I, it's like that all, it seems like that's like that everywhere I go besides when I drive home or, or wherever. But, uh, I'm on my lunch break today. And it's a beautiful day out here at the Fiverr. And one of the reasons why I'm making this video today is because I wanted to address the whole Five Awesome Suds channel situation. And it's not really a situation, I guess. It's it's kind of just, uh, uh, I, I was watching uh, Richard's video that he made, Richard O'Hagan. And uh, he made a video talking about, well, because I, I did send him an email on Facebook and I said, well, if you if you would like my help or whatever, you know, I'd get the channel back on its feet, well, I'd be happy to help you. Now, I know he left it up to the viewers and whatnot to decide, and that's fine, that's that's fair, that's that's actually the, the fairest thing a person could do, is leave it up to the, to the people who actually are viewing it. But, uh, and I don't have a problem with that at all. And I know I said here a couple videos ago that I really had no interest in doing uh, vlogs for another channel anymore. But, uh, or even being a part of a collab channel, but I, I really, I've been keeping dibs on the Five Awesome Suds channel for a while, and the videos have been okay, they've been very entertaining, but they haven't really had, they, they've lost that it, it factor. I know on WWE, NXT, everybody's talking about the it factor, well, well, I hate to say it, but the Five Awesome Suds channel has lost that it factor, and it's not Richard's fault, and it's not anybody else's fault, it's... I think because of some people just can't let go of what happened in January and, and they just continue to just not be sure. I think a lot of people are over past that, I think, you know. I know there's a lot of people, you know, that I've talked to that, that apologize, actually literally apologize to me, even though, you know, I didn't want an apology from anybody or whatever. But there's a couple people that actually apologize to me, literally, uh, who sent me private emails and said they're sorry for you know writing the comments they did about you and all, about me and all that and it was just like, well no no problem I guess you know, I appreciate the apology, you know I mean, I can understand where you get hard feelings sometimes but uh, no need to always you know share them with the world you know just kind of keep them to yourself you know if if you can but but no I mean it, it, you know so I don't know I mean. I would love to come back, I guess, to come back, but only as somebody to, to help. Uh, I, I, yes, the channel was mine, I did create it, and it's not like it's a big website or whatever, you know, it's, you know, it's just a channel on YouTube. That, you know, that, you know my original goal, my original intentions were to make it uh, as successful as I could, and to find as many people as I could to, to make it a success, because it wasn't just about me and how well I could run it or keep it going but it was also about all the people that were tagging along and helping along and making it a, a, a true success but uh, but yeah I mean I, I just uh, I don't know I, I really want to I would like to come back but I don't want to come back as somebody that's going to be the man in charge I, I still want Richard to, to take over as far as being the guy being the guy whose you know channel has been given to, to him uh, thanks to me but I don't want, I mean, I'll be like a silent partner or something, but I, as far as videos go, I mean, if, if the viewers really want me back, then I'll come back. But if they feel that, you know, that if they can't trust me or not give me another chance or whatever, you know, I guess I'm just asking it up to you guys because I know a lot of the subscribers that subscribe to the Five Awesome Set channel are also subscribed to my channel. And, you know, whether you like me or you hate me or whatever, Obviously, there's a reason why you subscribe and you keep tuned in, uh, stay tuned in. Uh, it's all up to you guys. 
What do you think? Do you think I should come back, or should I just stay, just keep doing videos on my own channel? Realize this, though. If, if you're one of those people that say not to come back, realize that enough time has passed where I can guarantee you that Zaren Izarak, Do Not Take It Seriously, Sicko23, and Razman's Reality will never come back to the channel. The only way they will be allowed to come back to the channel is if they personally apologize for their actions. Those are the people who I want apologies for. For making, for not only embarrassing me and all the rest of the people who are involved with the channel, but embarrassing themselves, you know. They're the reason why this channel was hurting. It wasn't just because of me. I, I, I will admit that I made some mistakes as far as not being there all the time. You know, I tried to be there as much as I could, but majority of the stuff that was said by Zaren Izarak, I do not take it seriously, Razman's Reality, and Sicko23, uh, were all pretty much playing just BS. And they will never be allowed back on the channel, back on that site, no matter what, until they, unless they personally apologize, but I know that's never going to happen. I, I know that for a fact. And, but I think the channel needs, needs a little bit, needs to be redone. I think uh, it needs a, a new format. I think that uh, good things can happen with that channel again if the right people are, are put in their spots. You know, the, and, and not just and what I mean by that is we, we need people that are that will take care of the site, people who can schedule people, find people, because I felt like, to be honest, you know, and I, I tried asking around if there's anybody that could help me out, you know, trying to find other people to, 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 to help do something for the channel. Uh, you know, other guests, uh, and nobody, th and this is like the original time, like after Ronch left, nobody wanted to help me with that. Nobody, they were, they were just, they, nobody wanted to help me with that. And if I come back, I want to make sure that we're all helping each other, and that we're not just leave one person with all the job, with all the work and all that, you know, because this, this channel can be run right if it's run in a good direction, but we need it to be run the way it's supposed to be. I'm not saying we'll ever be YouTube celebrities, but, you know, if we do a good enough job, I, I think we'd probably get some people's, uh, uh, get some people to notice us a little bit, like we did, like I did, you know, you know, and yeah, I, I interviewed Jeffrey Wiseman, but that was kind of a big thing, you, you guys have no idea how much of a big deal that was, you know, maybe it wasn't like interviewing, you know, Obama, President Ob uh, Barack Obama or whatever, but it was... It was still fun to do, and, you know, I would hope that I'd be nice to, to do that again because there's a couple other people I have in mind that, you know, I would love to do a video interview with, and I would love to bring back Ron Fox, and I know that he has a little bit more free time now than he did before. That's uh, one of the reasons why he left, because he didn't have much free time, but now I know he kind of does, you know, because he's doing something different. Not saying he has total free time, but I know he can make a video here and there if he if, if somebody if somebody asked him to, and I've been keeping dibs on the uh, Ron Fox podcast for a little while now, and I know he has a little more free time now than he did before, and so he may if if I can talk him into it might just come back for a couple of videos. It's been over a year since he's been on the channel, and I think a lot of people would love to have him come back. He's a good guy. He's you know big Ray Petty. He's he, he's you know, I've never met him, but he's, he, t to me, he's, he feels like he's a guy that I've that I've been friends with for a long time. Like you know, it's, it's like that that DJ that everybody wants to be. You know, he, and he's been really successful, and, and he could t teach us a lot of ways on how to be a successful video channel. So, but anyway, it's just some some stuff to think about. Uh, get back to me and leave some comments. Let me know. Uh, it's all up to you guys. You guys want me back? You know, or you guys want some people back or whatever, just let me know how you feel about everything that I've said in this video, and we'll just go from there. I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you next time on The Frankie Slauson Show.